the more people get to know about this, the more horrified people become. Because this is Australia, we've got the rule of law, we supposedly have the separation of powers, the executive separated from the judiciary, but I'm starting to really wonder, why is it that the Attorney General's lawyers are really taking the front running in these hearings against Bernard Kaleri and Ms Kay? You go into the courtroom, although I didn't get in there this morning, the last time I was there, it was the Attorney General's lawyers, the defence, and up by video link was supposed to be the Commonwealth Department of Public Prosecutions and they didn't say anything. So what's all this about? I think I know what it's about. This is the politicisation of the legal process to conceal government wrongdoing. And that wrongdoing was the illegal, fraudulent attempt to swindle the Timorese people over the Timor Sea. Now this is back in 2004. I'm not talking about Greater Sunrise, we're talking about the deal that was made in 2002, 2004. That's the one that was spied on. The, money, the money's nearly all gone. We got a lot of that money. Our commercial interests got a lot of that money. And we diddled the Timorese. We swindled them, basically. I'm, I'm amazed at the capacity of the Timorese people to keep forgiving. Uh, and forgiving, of course, is the hardest thing in the world. Anybody can stand up and, you know, call down fire and brimstone on people. It takes a magnanimous human being to say, look, you know, we're going to be geographically here for, for, for eternity. We may as well try to get on with these people. Imagine what would have the outcry in Australia if anybody had done to Australia what Australia has done to Timor Leste. Oh, we'd be screaming blue murder. But no, we can do it. We do it to the little brown people. There's so much racism tied up in this country. I mean, this is a secret trial. Any objection wouldn't have worked anyway, so it would only be prolong the, prolong the business. Uh, this is all secrecy. And for the life of me, I cannot see, and I defy anybody to tell me, what is the link between national security and what is being done to Bernard Clare? Because that's the, that's the principle upon which he is being subjected to these interminable hearings. I mean, we're up to about number 33, and we haven't even got to the trial yet. So God only... And talking about the trial, we don't know whether Mr Kaleri will be allowed to see all the evidence in his trial. He wants a jury trial, and that is his right as an Australian citizen. If it comes to that, the jury may not even be allowed to see all the evidence. This is Australia, friends, in the 21st century. The jury may not be allowed to see all the evidence. I don't know whether that will happen, but it is a possibility. Absolutely. It is the most abysmal act of pardon my French, bastardry in Australian history, as far as I can see, that we would try to swindle people who have just came who just came out of a 24 year occupation. Their infrastructure was decimated. We go in there, ho ho ho, you know, great big interfet troops and God bless interfet, they were great. But then we turn around and do this underhanded, nasty, fraudulent swing. That's all it is. Mm. And now they're trying to cover it up. For God's sake, come clean. You know? Come clean and say we did it wrong. The the um, banners told it all. People know. We're not stupid. I mean, I, I, I wonder what this government thinks, how clueless they think we are. That's what it is. It's, it's a tremendous insult to think that we don't know what they're up to. And I'd like to end by saying we're watching. We are watching and we will continue to watch.